in this video we're going to focus on creating our own counter counter here so we have these counters here beautiful but we want our own so how can we do it well very simple oh. so to make easy or to really start fresh off i will just copy this now we just paste in here and what i will do is i will just remove this value here and let's change this as well we're going to make this is a div and this is a card all right that's nice and i'm going to remove this here so we're going to just play around with it and what we'll, we'll do here is we will say this is a button or not maybe not a button a probably best is to give this not a button design but a div and in this div we're going to give it a class And let's close this so what we'll do here is call md4 and we can we give this a background color of success means green and in here we have the value so all right so we are starting to get something here however i want something nice i want some padding space here so let's add that up here No, no, I need that one in here. So this class. All right. Basically, we don't even need this. I realize we're just going to make it very, very simple. Break. All right. So there we are. So we have here our value and our value inside here is this. Let's close this diff. Uh, oh no, sorry, then no, we don't need to close this div. In here, we're going to put in our value. And what we also want to do is we want to make sure we have a span. And what's in the span? Very simple. Our span will contain the ID value. And what I want here is, of course, I want the dollar sign. And here, all right. So let's save this. And now let's start and work with our thing. So we have an ID and our ID is called value. So question number one is what do we want to do with this? Well, very simple. You can almost copy here. Yes. So what we're going to do here first is we're going to give it options. And the first option is variable and we say options. In this case, we're going to give it options tree. So because it's a variable. And in here, do we want to use easing? Of course, we want to use easing because easing will give it a nice effect so do you want to use grouping since we are here with a number grouping is a valuable feature as well next do we have for the comma any type of things do you want to have any comma so you can see here the separators and the decimals what do we want to use so separator separator here and our separator in this case, we'll just use space and then the comma or the deci decimal here. We'll just use a dot. All right. So once we did that, we're here ready. It's the first part. So now we need, to, of course, to use this in our formula. So how do we do that? Well, we just copy this part here. And what we can do here is, first of all, we can use a variable and for demo because this variable equals this here yes so but we're going to give it a new variable so it's a variable and we say um, bank status yes because that's that's something slightly different and more better and we say here because that's what we're going to do we're going to use the function we say here new And then say new count up. And then in here, we're going to start to work on our function here. And then this should not be curly brackets. No, this needs to be parentheses. So, so I'm going to remove that. And in here, we have the count up. And then we focus basically these five items here. So what does that mean? It's very simple. Count up. All right. Question number one is, what's the ID? So what is the ID? The value is our ID, comma. 
and this needs to be in quotations because this is a string remember that all right so question number two what is the starting point so if you want to start let's say you want to start from zero because you are going to assume this is a money value yes comma and then what is our ending point let's say the, our price is ten a hundred fifty dollars and then we have of course do you want any decimals if this is money and there are decimals yes in this case I will leave out the decimals no need and what's the duration duration should never be too long but 2.5 seconds should be more than enough comma and then what we do is very simple we have here our options tree because that's the one we got so let's copy this one here we're just going to paste it in here and once we did that we're almost done let's put here curly brackets and then what we have to do of course is you can see here as well we need to activate it since we have now everything here we put it in curly in here our curly oh, sorry this is what is this a uh, semicolon not curly bracket a semicolon here and then what we have to do is we have to say demo start or variable start and then finally closing it so that's what we have so it's a variable and in a variable sorry this is not even variable we say demo or not not r this is our variable so we say variable dot start curly brackets and close so this means basically when you do this it will just start without any button or something so we just say go for it once we reload let's save this and see if we are really doing it correctly refresh and you can see here now something happens here but the value is not yet working so what's going on here our variable is count up bank status so let's see if we are doing it correct this is the value I realize that ID for value is very dangerous so I will say here bank bank amount and let's save this here refresh and uh, let's start to work here it does not work so let's see what's going on do I see here maybe something else text let's remove this one so we can see this ah, all right so it was already working but it was just very hard to see because of the white part so this is really how you do it 